Check out how quiet we are again today. Nice and clear for most of us here in the valley. And we're also looking at a few clouds out west, but otherwise we're looking pretty good here for today. It's looking uh, like we're going to see more sunshine out west and maybe a few more clouds there. But otherwise, uh, we don't have much to complain about here in the tri-state area. There are some rain showers working their way into western parts of North Dakota, but uh, otherwise we're doing all right. Now looking across the country, of course, the all eyes are focused here on the southeast. We're going to zoom in on uh, what is now tropical storm Hermine. It made landfall last night around 1230 in the morning uh, central time, and it was a category one hurricane at that point. I think it had 80 mile per hour winds now still strong 70 mile per hour winds, but it has dropped below hurricane status and is tracking currently the center tracking from the uh, panhandle of Florida into uh, parts of Georgia and that will continue to uh, ride right along the coast there uh, throughout the day today and then into Saturday as well and we'll eventually move off to sea uh, later on this weekend. So not the ideal beach weather for the holiday weekend coming up for the southeast. Unfortunately, they're getting hit pretty hard uh, with a lot of rain and wind, of course, and they've had some severe weather down in that area as well. So uh, that storm continues to impact uh, us now that it has it made landfall in the southeastern part of the U.S. Here in the valley, of course, we're a lot quieter. We're looking at some 50s and 60s, a little warmer than we've been recently. 55 in Bemidji, 54 in Wadena. Those are the cool areas, and the farther west you go, the warmer we get. 61 in Crookston, Fargo's at 62. It's 63 in Grand Forks and Devil's Lake. You are at 66 degrees. Wind is a light east. It picks up the farther west you go. We're going to see some strong winds out in the west today and in other parts of the valley too. We already have a gust of 29 miles per hour. Uh, in Devil's Lake, wind out of the south helping to draw in some warmer air and in addition to that, some more moisture and that's going to help feed our storm systems that are coming up this weekend. We do have a wind advisory that takes effect later today uh, for the James River Valley for wind speeds that could be gusting up to 45 miles per hour. So a breezy to windy day today depending on your definition of that. We're looking at some visibility that's looking pretty good. Uh, no, uh, no reports of fog coming in. Uh, this morning. That's thanks in part to that wind. Okay, so here's a look at our forecast for today. We've got some quiet weather this morning. Uh, the noon hour will be into the 60s and 70s. Pretty decent lunch break or lunch recess out on the playground. But uh, that wind, though, a little bit breezy, so be aware of that. You're going to be seeing those wind speeds gusting into the 20s and 30s, and again, out west, maybe even stronger than that. Uh, this afternoon, temperatures making their way back into the low 80s. I think we even have a chance at hitting some uh, mid 80s, rather, uh, for today. And then off to the east into the 70s. And then the clouds try to roll in for us later tonight. We're looking at a few more clouds in the evening hours for this Friday evening, but otherwise looking quiet. Now, overnight tonight and into the day tomorrow, we'll have those clouds passing by. Looks like some pretty warm temperatures starting in the 60s and 70s around 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, partly cloudy. And eventually we'll see a chance for some rain and some thunder developing. But this is at 12 o'clock, still looking pretty good. It will most likely be in our far western, northwestern viewing area. So over toward Devil's Lake where we may see some showers or storms. But otherwise, I think we're going to be okay. At least right now it looks like. Can't rule out that, that thunderstorm possibility. But uh, mainly most of the valley on the drier side for Saturday. It won't be until Sunday where we have that better bet for some rain and thunder. We're keeping that chance for some storms, though, in the forecast just in case. Just to kind of keep you aware that it is a possibility here coming up for tomorrow. For Sunday, a better bet for showers and thunder showers and same thing as we move into the Labor Day holiday itself and those temperatures cooling back will be in the low to mid 80s the next couple of days and then as we move into the rest of the holiday weekend and next week we're down into the low 70s for your high temperatures so and much more active too you can see there's a chance for storms just about every day coming up next week so getting a little bit more unsettled into the forecast as we move in more into september thank you lisa well even though september is still here you've still got time to enjoy all the delicious items you can pick up at area farmers markets christy larson is live with the details coming up next